peace, for them, but suffering will be more increased. So I should tell. Then what I should tell? Oh, don't be. Then all Shastra will tell that you are telling what? Life. You should not tell. Because a drop of here is comes for Krishna. Their life is such. So then what I should I tell? Should I tell him not to weep or whether you should be bitterly like this? He could not. And then anyhow, anyhow I should tell that Krishna, your son, is not your son really. What is? <coughs> he is in the heart of all life beings. And you are thinking that he is my son? Really he has come. Like your son. But he is not your son. You should always. Then why did he do? No separation of Krishna. Because Krishna is that thing like in your heart here. Then why did he do? You are so maha. So, Hearing this, Nandava weeping stopped. Totally stopped. And he looked to our Sudha. How? How? This foolish boy, ignorant boy. <laughs> He cannot realize my suffering. I thought that he was the Krishna. He may realize something. So, he not feeling my more suppression for me. And then he goes. Oh, even your milk milk teeth has not done. You are like a baby. I thought that you are intelligent now, but I know that you are not. Or you are like a kid. Or you are told that your son is the Supreme Lord and he is living back in you also for no surprise. If you get the real fact that my son Krishna is God, Really, I was fortunate. But I think that I am most unfortunate. Why? This God came to my house like a son, and I could not. No. I could not give him love and affection. And that is why he left me, I am one too, that there is more love and affection than there. So I know I am not father. I am like thunderbolt, my God. Even feeling all these things, I am not dying. Why? Oh, very big and And so, oh, there was one father in this world. And he was Maharaj Dasar. When he, was, he went to the forest, and then part of the suffering lament and in the last time he could not tolerate the separation he was ha ram ha ram ha no and he left him for life and he died but I am not dying and then he did you are like mountain Everest, so much high, and I am on the root of that mountain. I cannot take the atom of your love and affection, anywhere I go, so how can I satisfy, pacify you? 
and by this whole night talk. And then what we can? And then it becomes what? And Uddhav came out of that house. And he came on the cool very nearby. He took what? And he wanted to do? Funding. Doing mantra job. And he did. At once he saw a very uh, dense forest of cotton fruit trees. Oh, left and left of cotton fruit trees. And then he saw. Oh, some uh, big group. Had so many lights. What lights? Go Clementine, beating. They never returned to their palace. But they are servants of their servant, Sakhi of Radhika. But Radhika was somewhat more honest. So these gopis saw that, oh, anyone is coming. And who chariot is here? In morning they saw. Who chariot? Oh, it is made of gold. Who has come by this chariot? And why? Why they have? Oh, there may be a reason. That fish is there. Hans is now killed. And his 13th day or 12th day, they give pind. Pind means in Indian culture, Vedic culture, if anyone dies. Father, mother, wife, everyone. Then they give pin the pigments, making something and giving. And this is like oh, this like round pigments round. So something made like that round, and they give with mantra to the head person, for soul. Perhaps for this, they search any pin in Mathura, but they could not find anything. But they knew that, oh, now Krishna has come to Mathura, all gopis and perhaps Basi has come. Easily they can take our heart like thing and they will give it to, oh, the soul of and for that is I should go on Why I came on the chariot? And why I was very callous to her royal dressing. This is no way to pacify anyone. <coughs> Another copy told, you know, <coughs> oh, Krishna sent his servant on golden chariot. That all Prajbasi, especially father and mother, should know. Now he is not only a coward, <coughs> now he is king of Mathura, having so much position, wealth and so many queens to show oh Krishna is here he is and for again I have done wrong I have done wrong this is now way too much anyhow another thought so it seems that he is any messenger of Krishna he has come from us because our senses may do wrong, but no cannot do wrong. We always know the smell of body of Krishna very fragrant. Very fragrant. So we remember the fragrance of Krishna body. This person has taken the garland of Krishna. We see this garland is not in the whole office. This mala, 
for from the <laughs> name of Krishna, and he has given to this one, and he is Pitambar also to Krishna. So Krishna's smell is coming from there. So he must be a messenger, very dear messenger, secret messenger of Krishna. And then, when how came the other? One who be brought in the council, but prominent gopi was held for him. But gopi, ask Uddha. Can you answer our questions? Uddha was held short, <coughs> keeping his head towards down. Gopi. Put her doing no? <coughs> that prem is so padnik and no new path. Pure prem and some artificial prem. Buddha began to hear very authentic. <coughs> oh, first we will tell artificial love. Sahetu. Oh, padnik, sahetu. And that is what? That is that. A prostitute. <laughs> oh, for money, she loves everyone. Whether it is beautiful or not, ugly it may be, black may be. <laughs> no. Because she don't have any love and affection for that person. She wants money. And after taking money, Nothing to do with that. She will fall there. Oh, this is Sahaj. <coughs> Not time. You know, that a bee, you yourself, like that. Like humble bees, black, like Krishna, like that cheetah. And he goes to all flowers, especially lotus flower and others. And text the honey from that. And when hand he takes honey, he gives up them. And they go, go to new, new, new. No affection. Also, a lusty person. He goes for, for his sense of gratification from any Lady of prosperity. Give him some money. And then, after sense gratification, he never looks back. Birds always, they have love and affection of forest. The forest is green, full of flowers and full of fruits. They will be there. But anyhow, if fire is there, they will give up. So these are so many things. If a, uh, a student has gone to his teacher to read something, and when it will be finished, then he will give some donation, dakhina. And he will never remember that his teacher. These are all supadi. And nirupadi, no selfishness. So, oh God, you know, we have never wanted anything in return to our love from Krishna. And Krishna so he never wanted return, he wanted to please us and we wanted to please him. Or love and affection are coincidental. But coincidental or pure love cannot break. But how it break? We see that we can. Okay. Two dogs began to do like this. He could not have any answer. And then he went. All the gopis took him to the prominent gopis. And then that pro prominent gopi, what she was doing? To breathe. <laughs> Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Salakya
surrounded by many others and all were very worried and they thought oh now our Saki is dying she stopped breathing they would take some cotton and hold it by her nose and see a little breath was coming so she was in a very critical condition of separation from Krishna at that time one bumblebee was flying and came there by the lotus feet but that Gopi was completely unconscious. <coughs> Buddha thought, oh, this must be Radhika. Radhika's feet are very soft and fragrant and reddish. So the Bumblebee thought that this is one new type of lotus flower and was buzzing around her feet. Dhyanti Krishna Dhyanti Krishna And Inside, she was completely absorbed and remembering how of her previous meetings with Krishna. After some time, she opened her eyes and sat up and saw that bumblebee. And she began in the madness of love for Krishna. <laughs> Even greatest learned scholars, they can have no idea, they cannot touch or understand how she is feeling. And in the madness of her love, she began to speak to that bumble. <laughs> Hey Madhupa, Kitababandu, you are the friend of a cheetah. I know that you must be a friend of that cheetah Krishna. Now he's in Madhupuri. Madhu means wine. He's opened a liquor shop there and he's drinking and all are intoxicated. And you have come from him. So now you're coming and trying to touch my feet. Don't touch my feet. You are impure. You have been drinking. She can hear the bumblebee, as if the bumblebee is telling, Oh my Swaminis, don't call me, I am not your Swamini. Oh beloved of Krishna, don't call me the beloved of Krishna. I don't want to hear this. Don't try to touch my feet. I know this trick. There was another cheetah who also used to come trying to employ this trick to pacify me when he had done wrong. So I know these tricks, you should be far away. As if hearing that Bamu is speaking. Oh, Krishna only loves you, not others. I have come to suggest how to make a compromise. Radhika said, you don't know how to pacify a lover who has been hurt. What is that on your moustache? <laughs> Bamu said, I don't know. What is that kumkum on your moustache? What is kumkum? I don't know. This is the natural color of my moustache. No, no, no. I know where this is from. Now Krishna is in Mathura. And I know that for one minute he cannot live without any beautiful young lady. So it must be that he's wearing a garland of flowers. And when he's embraced by my rival, that new young girl who is now my rival, and she embraces him, then the kumkum from her breast is smeared upon his garland. And you came to that garland to take honey. And now you have this kumkum all over your moustache. Hmm? But you are so intoxicated that you don't realize it. And you come here to tell me, 
Oh, Krishna only loves you, he does not love anyone else. With the kumkum on your face from his new girlfriend. <laughs> you are so drunk you cannot understand. <laughs> or oh, why have you come here? If the Yadus would know that Krishna had sent a messenger like you to Vrindavan to speak to me, all would laugh. Why are you here? Go back to Mathura. I know that Krishna is meeting with so many Mathuramanis, the princesses of Mathura, and meeting with one and forgetting about another and then going to her. You have to pacify her. And then you have to meet with another and pacify her. From morning to night, you have to pacify one Mathura Ramani after another. So why have you come here to pacify me? You should go to Mathura where Krishna needs your help. Hmm? And really he needs your help. Because they are not from a simple Vaisha, Gopabhas, coward family, they are Khatriyas. And if they become upset, they may tell their older brothers and fathers and they will come and they will beat Krishna. So Krishna, you, you have no need of your service here, go back to Mathura and serve there. Oh that Krishna, he is just like you. Only on one occasion, once Krishna, by force, he made us drink the nectar of his lips. Oh, she, here she's expressing that, oh, I never wanted. He forced me. Hmm? He forced me to drink the nectar of his lips. But he's like you, like a bumblebee. The bumblebee takes nectar from one flower and then goes to another and takes from another. This is his nature. He's never Priya. He always wants newer and newer beloveds. Hmm? So he goes from one flower to another. And just as a bumblebee becomes intoxicated and loses his sense of discrimination, and then ends up going to flower which has no fragrance and no honey. So Krishna, being intoxicated with love of gopis, now he's gone there to Mathura. Hmm? Because in Mathura Krishna, he had met with Kubja. Like a flower with no fragrance and no honey. So she is like that. And you want that we should make a compromise with him? No. Hmm? Or we have heard that Lakshmi Devi, the goddess of fortune, always serves the lotus feet of Krishna. It is okay, but we will not do it. Because we are not naive and gullible like she is. Krishna's words are very, very sweet. And she can be tricked by them. But we cannot be fooled by his sweet words anymore. Hmm? So we are not like foolish like the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi Devi. We will not have any compromise with that Krishna. Hmm? Why should Krishna care about us? Divi Bhuvichara Sayam Kastriyastha Durapa Kapati Ruchi Rahasa Bhuvi Jimrasiyasu You know that any girl in the whole universe is available to Krishna. Hmm? In the higher planets, like the wives of the demigods. On this earth, like wives of the brahmanas. And in the lower planets, Rasatal. In the lower planets, like the wives of Kalyanag. Throughout the three worlds, upper, middle and lower planetary systems. If Krishna will only smile and give a crooked glance and move his eyebrows, then all young girls they fall at his feet and become his maidservants. Hmm? <coughs> so, why should he be interested in us? We are only ordinary village girls. Hmm? Now he is there in Mathura with so many princesses. So I don't want to hear any more about Krishna from you. <coughs> Giyasi gayasi tam yadunam Adipatama grahanam agratona puranam Vijaya sakasakinam giyatam tat prasanga Chapata kucha rudaste kalpeyantishtamishta Hey you six legged person. You have six legs. Hmm? What does it mean? You know that human beings they have two legs. But animals like dogs and hogs and and cows, they have four legs. They are not so intelligent as human beings. So who have two legs may be intelligent. And who have four legs, they are less intelligent. But you have six legs. So you are even less intelligent. I know. Why have you come here? And why are you speaking about Krishna all the time? Actually, Radhika is speaking about Krishna all the time. But who is listening? <laughs> why are you talking about Krishna all the time? Adi, Jadunam Adipati. 
He is the king of the Yadu dynasty. Hmm? So why have you come to us? We are the we are, we are homeless. We are homeless persons. Let me give some advice to you. Vija Saki Saka Sakinam Gietam Takprasangam Chapitaku Chabudaste Kalpi and Teshtamista. I know your character. If you do anything, you want something in return. So why do you come to us? You should go there to Mathura. Because the girls of Mathura, they met with Krishna. And Krishna has pacified the burning of lust that they feel in their hearts. So now they are very happy. And because they are in a happy mood, if you please them, they will give you anything that you request. So go to Mathura. And those girls who are happy, they will give you anything you want. But if you, if you glorify Krishna to them, they will fulfill your desire. But if you glorify Krishna to us, then what can we give you? We are homeless. We left our husbands, our families, our homes. We lost everything. And now we are wandering in the forest. So we cannot give you anything. You are wasting your time here. Return at once to Mathura. Hmm? I don't want to hear about Krishna. Abhitona Puranam. Anything you tell us about Krishna, well, that is only Purana. From old, old news. It is Purana. Hmm? Old news. We know him better than you. Hmm? You know him only a few days. We know him since the beginning of his life. We have grown up with him. Hmm? So he can cheat you, but he cannot cheat us. We have experience. Hmm? Not only that, but I want to tell you something about black people. Hmm? You are black and he is black. And I want to tell you about the history of those who are black. You know, once there was a black person. His name was Ram Chandra. And what did he do? Oh, from behind a tree. He shot one monkey. No, even hunters, they don't kill monkeys. So he is very cruel. And not fighting face to face even. Hmm? He shot him. So that black person, Ram Chandra, was very cruel. Not only that, but he was especially cruel to ladies. So Pranaka came to him to propose an intimate relationship. And what did he do? He cut off her nose and ears because he was so attached to Sita Devi. So this is his nature. Those who are black, they may be very cruel, they may be very attached, and especially cruel to ladies. Oh, there was another one. His, his name was Baman. Baman then. And when Bali Maharaj surrendered everything to him, he was completely ungrateful. He was not grateful. He bound him up with ropes and pushed him down to the lower planets. And you know crows? Crows are also black. Hmm? If you're carrying anything, hmm, any fruit on your head, they will come and they will steal and they will attack. So just see. Hmm? I know that Krishna has no fault. He has no defect. Hmm? It is the fault of black. <laughs> Whatever is black has his nature. Hmm? She could hear, Bhagavad Gita saying, Oh, but if Krishna is so bad, hmm? if Krishna is so bad, why are you speaking about him again and again all the time? Radhika said, Oh, this is my unfortunate position. I give up all relationship with that cheating person. Hmm? I have no connection with Krishna. I can give up Krishna. But I cannot give up Krishna Kata. <laughs> this is my misfortune. Why? If only one drop of Harikata will go inside your ear, then a big disaster will come. Huh? All the dedication to religious principles and the dualities of this world will be completely destroyed. Anyone, if one drop of Krishna Kata will go in the ear, then all this nectar has a reaction that one loses all interest in his family members and leaves them. And then all the family members are crying. And then, because of Krishna's nature, he has left us and we are also crying. So be careful, don't hear Harikata. Because if one drop will enter your ear, then you become like a homeless street beggar. 
You have to wander here and there like a bird without any home. Huh? So don't listen to anything about that Krishna. You know what happened to us? We are the witness of this fact. If you don't believe us, then look at us. Vayamrita niva jina vyaritam sadadana kulika ruta nivadya krishna vaddo harinya Dhanishwara sakhidaitam tandaka sparshati vra svararuja mukamantrim dhanyatai anyavarta What was our condition? We were young and in our homes and having happy life. But just as the deer in the forest is very innocent, yet when the hunter plays upon his flute, then the deer becomes attracted, and the deer begins to approach the hunter very innocently, and not knowing what will happen next, or what will be the result of that attraction. But what is the result? The hunter will come in with a sharp weapon, he will pierce the heart of that animal, and they will be dead. Hmm? So we were like that. We did not know what we were getting involved with. Only we heard the sweet sound of Krishna's flute, his sweet words, see, he's smiling. And innocently, not knowing what would happen, we went to Krishna. And we put faith in his words. We believed him, because he told us, He told us, I can never repay you, even if I'll serve you. Now hundreds and lifetimes and lifetimes, I cannot repay you, ever. And we believed him. But now he left us. But he is more than a hunter. Why? Because if a hunter will kill the animal, the animal will die. But we cannot die. Why? Because Sakitatara Sudan Sammoyim Bhayaritwa, before leaving, Krishna gave us the nectar from his lips. And if one will drink nectar, then they cannot die. Yet at the same time, we feel the sharp pain of the. Stabbing of a hunter, what is that? We remember again and again the touch of the fingernails of Krishna. Yet we cannot die because we have turned the neck of his lips. So again and again, or like a fish out of water, only flapping, or like the animals who have been shot by Magrari the hunter, not alive and not dead, only flapping here and there in such pain. We are in that condition now that Krishna has left. And he's speaking it this way, Radhika was crying. And the bumblebee disappeared. When that bumblebee disappeared, then Shri Radhika became very much anxious. Oh, what have I done? What have I said? A messenger came from Krishna, and they criticized him in so many ways. Now that messenger will go back and tell Krishna all these things. Oh, what have I done? And she became very anxious. And then the next moment, she said, Oh, you've come back. Oh, Krishna is so kind. Even though he heard all these things, he did not become angry, and again he sent his messenger. This time Radhika's mood was not, get out from here. This time he folded hands. Oh, you are a dear messenger of Krishna. Welcome. Please oh, be here. What do you want? Anything you ask for, I will fulfill your desire. Why have you come here? Is it that you have come to take us to be with Krishna? What is Krishna doing now? Adivata Mata Puryam Arya Puto Dunaste Smarti Sapiti Geyam Saumya Bandam Stagopyam Kvachita Bisakatana Kinkarinam Vinite Ujumadut Agur Sugandam Mote Jastakadano Ariputra I know that Ariputra, the son of an Aryan, that means Krishna, who is very, very a polite, very well behaved, and high class of character. Now that very glorious person, I know that he has returned to Mathura, hmm? back to Madhupuri. He's come from Ujjain. I'm coming there. What is he doing now? Smart is a She wants to ask directly, does he remember me? But she cannot. Hmm? So she tells, does he remember Nanda Haveli, the house of Nanda Maharaj? Does he remember Yashinamaya? And how all British bosses, all the mothers of Braj, how they love him so much and miss him so much, does he remember them? So we abandon Mr. Gopya. Does he remember his friends, his hackers, who are all feeling so much separation from him? Subal, Shidam, Dam, Basudam, Arjuna, Banga, Spoka, Krishna, Vasan, Kokyo, Brinda, Madhu, Manga, Ujwal, 
And then your friends are always saying, does he remember them? And how he used to go grazing cows with them? <laughs> then she came to the point. Koti Abhi Sakatana. Oh, Bumblebee, does Krishna sometimes speak about us who gave ourselves to him and he accepted us as his kinkari, as his maid servants? Does he speak about us? Does he sometimes tell the girls of Mathura, oh, my dear girls of Mathura, you are very qualified, oh, more than those gopis, those village girls. Hmm? Or does he speak about us in a negative way like this? Or even? Or is it that Krishna will come back soon? And when he comes back to Vrindavan, will he take his very soft and cool lotus hand, which is reddish and fragrant like a guru, and making us feel great fortune, will he keep his hand upon my head and say, Oh my dear Radhika, I have been here and there in the world everywhere, and have met and seen many beautiful young girls, but no one is so beautiful, so loving, and so qualified as you. Will he come back and say these words to me? And with this, oh Radhika fainted and became unconscious. <coughs> Shrimati Radhika also told some time when he came from Thailand from Bengal. Remembering the three pastimes of Krishna, how last friends were done, how Krishna was as a founder, how he was taking this faith by his founder, how he can go, what he can Sadhu, 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 like so many things. And then he began, very upset, feeling separation. And she told her, Nath, Ramanath, Rajanati, Nasana. Samudhara Govinda, Gokulam, Vijayanir, Oh Govinda, like this, Ha Govinda. Ha Nath, like hope, Prabhu. Ramana. Ramana Tiyabhu. All gopis assemble and they are singing this. So Ramana Lakshmi, Nath Narayan, not Narayan, Ramana especially Sinatra Lakshmi. Ramana. <coughs> But now you have left all these things and you are in Mathura, 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 so Ramana. Praja, Nāti, Nāsha. Oh, Gopal Vāsī are suffering and lamenting so much. So, hey, Govinda, come again. And he should make a part of Gokul. Deliver Gokul. From the ocean of Oh, ocean, from the ocean of Hey, He must be cold. Cold, Gopal, and Gopal Basi, Kriji Basi, are drowning in the left, unlimited ocean of Separation. Separation. And who calls all into your life? One drop of Love and affection of you. And then he began to pray. Asamaho charanare nitu samaham sham. Vrinda bane kimasi dulmala kaushi dhenyam. Gadu svajana svajana arca patancha chahitva. Vedi urkundapadayam Even Veda Upanishad, the mantra of Veda they are searching Krishna, but they cannot search. Even in their meditation, <laughs> that Krishna is controlled by only gopis. He is like a puppet in the hands of gopis. If anyone comes at I am servant of gopis. Oh, Krishna will come at once and he will tell that, oh, any phone you can 
सो आसान हो चरण दिशा हो गोपी लाइक सो हाई लॉस एंड अफेक्शन और आई वॉन्ट टू बी एनी क्रीपर एनी ग्रॉस ऑफ क्रेजर वेर गोकिल विल गो किटिंग देयर फेस ऑन मी ऑन ग्रॉस आई वॉन्ट टू बी ग्रॉस आई विल सो फॉर्चुनेटे नंद वंदना ऑफ कोकी बट आई कैन इवेंट आई कैन एट आई एम नॉट क्वालिफाइड टू ओ ग्लोरीफाई इवन दी वन डस्ट ऑफ लाइक इन डिरेक्शन फैर दे आर आई कैन टू बी ए डस्ट ऑफ वन डस्ट ऑफ गोपी लोड एंड वॉट इज वन डस्ट And then, to talk about so many things. There are so many things more. I told you only to explain that our that the aim and object of the whole living being, highest, is go people. I told first day. About aim and object, so this is the thing. For this, I explain. We explain this. So you should know this is the aim and object of our oh, practice, practice and also devotion. This is, but don't jump. Don't jump. Otherwise, you'll be mad and you will be oh, gone. Oh, first come down to Anabila Sita Sunya, and the last simple one part of that Shabda Nishtha Nishtha in the higher association of your devotees. This is main thing. If you are chanting, doing all these services, but not high association, then what if you will be weakened? Oh, thousands and millions of examples. Uh, Example for to so always try to be in a suit. If there is no situation directly face to face, then read Jai Guru Dharma, Gita, Bhagavad Gita, and other books of our Guru Swami. Or try to follow the instructions of Upadesha Mrita Guru Guru Swami. Nectar of instructions of Siddhar Prasad. मना शिक्षा भक्ति तत्व विवेक भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर बुक्स भजन रस एंड और अदर एंड ट्राई टू फॉलो सिंसियर लाइक प्रहलाद महाराज ही हैज टोल श्रवण एंड कीर्तन दिस वेरी भक्ति डोंट गो टू रागा नू गार्ड फर्स्ट वेन यू विल मॉर्च अप मै चोर ओ वेरी भक्ति टोल्ड बाई रूप गो स्वामी ऑटोमेटिकली A greed will come to suffer all time. At that time, we will be some bad boy. And after that, association with, and you will be high class of your soul. So this is my instruction. Begin from by the bhakti, from sadhana style association, and practice like this. Don't jump to raga nuga and after kaliya. Otherwise, you will be mad. So try to follow my instructions and duly and practice bhakti yoga from lower stages. I want to uh, give thanks the my uh, managers who manage this function, this mahotsav. I think no complaint from anyone. I thought that all have done in the hall, but I see that also not have done. Not more than half of all our years of work and here, so I am happy. 
So I will request O Prabhu Bhakti. Harinamananda Prabhu to give thanks to the person and devotee who are assisting here. <coughs> You have no paper? I thought we were going to have it during your darshan this morning and I have it. Yeah, you, you can do it. Do you remember? No, if you don't remember the names. Oh, you see. Stand up and tell. So, we can be through the classes. I don't need to do this. But in class every day, for association. 